Hi, in this video we'll be walking through the basic steps to call up and use a plugin in the MPC software, whether it be one of the included expansion plugins or a third party plugin. The first thing we want to do is make sure we're looking at the main window of the MPC software. To view this screen, click on the main mode tab located near the top right of the MPC software window. Next, find the track area near the bottom left of the main window. You'll notice some drop down menus. Change the type drop down menu to plugin. This will create a new drop down menu below. Click on the field next to the word plugin and a window will open. This window allows you to choose your plugin of choice. In the pop up window, there are options available which allow you to view your plugins in various ways. Feel free to try different views to determine which one is right for you. Now let's begin by choosing on one of the included expansion plugins. Click on the plus sign next to the MPC expansions to view the available expansion plugins. Let's start by choosing the 809 and pressing select. This will load the 809 expansion plugin into the MPC software. You will notice that you can change which plugin you have loaded at will. Once the plugin loads, choose the button labeled E to view the plugin interface. You can now interact with the plugin interface both with your mouse and with the MPC Renaissance or Studio. Now let's walk through the steps to load a third party plugin. There are a couple of settings that you'll want to be sure are correct before proceeding. First, Go to your Preferences menu. On Windows, you will find this in the Edit menu at the top of the MPC software interface. On a Mac, it is in the MPC menu. Within the Preferences menu, choose the Plugins tab. You'll notice some empty fields. You need to choose the location that your third-party plugin is located. To do this, click the button located to the right of the empty field. In the window that opens, find and choose the location of your third-party plugin. Once you have selected the correct location and it is listed in one of the fields on the Plugins tab of the Preferences menu, ensure that you put a check mark in the box to the left of that field so that the MPC software actually reads that location. Now choose Rescan All to ensure that the MPC correctly scans and reads your plugins. Once the software finishes scanning the location of your choice, press OK. Back in the track area of the main screen of the MPC software, ensure that the Type drop down menu is set to Plugin, and then click on the field next to the word Plugin located below. This will open the window where you can choose your plugin. Organize them as you see fit. and then click on the plus button next to where it says VST or audio units to view the available third party plugins. Click on your plugin of choice and then choose select to load it. You'll now see the name of your plugin in the drop down menu. Choose the E to view your third party plugin interface. You can now interact with your plugin via your mouse or the MPC hardware and you're ready to make some music. Enjoy!